Okay, I'm not doing uh, any work on the house today. Yesterday, I uh, got the shivers. I'm just freezing. And they're at a high temperature at work, and I went home about noon. So, I ran a 101 degree temperature till 9 a.m. this morning. So, the only reason I'm going over here, even though I'm not working, is to show the fact that I'm over here because of the uh, these neighborhood kids. I'll show you the reason why. So can you see all that glass? They're broken under the jar. That's on my frickin' concrete patio. And there's a lid of the jar. A little, little kid broke it, and look at this. They've got stuff all the way over here. So I have to clean that up next time I'm over. It's ridiculous. That actually pisses me off. But even though I'm over here every two weeks, they still find time to go over here and bust stuff. Help! Well, another big piece. That would have went right in my lawnmower tire. So now I've got to search this ground. And they threw nails. That's the knife. And this brick. And it's not me, I know this because I come here every two weeks and check all this stuff. Like I said, when I do get sick, I still are Whew, over here checking this stuff. And I also come over and I pick up any sticks in the yard. And then get rid of the sticks. It's a shame. But literally, this is not being narcissistic. They're arrogant, but literally this is the nicest yard on this whole block, both sides up and down. And I don't even live here. That's the sad part, actually. And so they don't live in that house because all the floors are clapped on the inside, but they still come over here and, oh. Well, look at this. Look what they did to their own yard. Wow. That's, that's what their kids are doing in their own yard. Wrecking mirrors. I'm leaving it in the grass. You know, that way if they mow, it'll uh, flatten their tire, and then if they don't have a riding lawnmower, if they mow, the blades will hit it and kick it straight out towards them, could end up cutting their legs. Their parents really need to do something about them. But their parents aren't model citizens either. They're in and out of jail all the time. So they just don't care about nothing. I actually play in my woods too and constantly destroy them. Uh, so I'm gonna go check on these mushrooms over here. See how my mushrooms are doing. Yeah, actually, I was excited because if I wasn't sick, I was gonna go over today and though. I mean, uh, use my electric chainsaw, chainsaw three foot sections with these mushrooms and bring them over where I live in another town. And then, and then get these mushroom, uh, like little wooden dowels, and you hit them, and then that's how you grow your mushrooms anyway. But I got way too sick yesterday, so that went out. Yeah, I still got my mushrooms there. See, there's some myosin there. So I'm gonna cut a three-foot section. There's some myosin there. I cut a three-foot section of that off. There's some myosin there. This one'll be interesting. I think I'm gonna try to split it down the middle and take those two sections. Yeah, the whole log's full of mice soon. And the mushrooms here. And then with this gravity, I'm gonna leave this here. I wasn't chop it down, but not now because of the gravity. It ain't going nowhere. It's like 
I mean the most it would do is fall down in there, maybe. But what's holding it up is actually the uh, way the tree when it comes down to forks. So I don't even see that actually being an issue at all. Yeah, my stomach's still sick. Ugh. But it means these wild mushrooms that grow here, I won't be able to transplant them. Some, some more mice seem there. Oh, my headache. It's getting bad. I only got about two minutes of film. I'm going to walk around the rest of the property. Hope I'm not boring you guys too much. Yeah. At least no windstorms too major have come through here. Ow. Kind of hurts. Ow. Ah, oh, great. See, they've been going through here. On trash again. Water in a cup. Now, what do you guys? These guys are stupid. Like, I'm gonna think the wind just blew this water and cupped that out of nowhere, and they're just cutting through the my alley here. That's all mine, too. I like to think about putting bees out here. Just don't know where. But I kind of thought maybe, I don't know if this would be a good spot, but maybe back up in there against that tree put a small hive there to start with and uh, hmm. I don't think the city can say anything and they pretty much take care of themselves and at least when the growth is around I don't think those kids will mess with them but if they do mess with them I'm going to be sorry probably the last time they mess with them so I know not exciting video next week next Next time I'll try to get the uh, uh, three foot logs cut down for the cottonwood oyster mushrooms. I'll try to do that one thing I was talking about in the bedroom to get that tied up all the way around. Where I place that window. Alright, till next time.